Our first play, our team's Darcy Fogarty, a decent key forward. We've got Charlie Kerngo, another good forward. We've got a best and fairest. We've got a Tom Stewart. He'll be a decent backman. We've got Sam Draper for the ruck. We've got a AFLW player that we can't use. We've got Andy Brayshaw for the midfield, which is huge. We've got Zachy Williams coming off half back. And we've got Ben Cunnington, who hopefully is alright, but he'll be a very good uh, addition to the squad. Here we go, we've got Chad Wingard, which is nice. We've got a Zach Suey, which is nice. We've got a Carcraft Krishka Petrarca, which is very, very nice. He'll be a ball coming out in the midfield. We've got Fifey, which is very nice. We've got Jacob Hopper, which is nice. Jeez, Grundy in the ruck. Oh my god. Oliver Florent, he's alright. Weagering up back. These packs are absolutely incredible. We're pretty much cragging the all Australian team right here. Here we go. Last pack of team coach. What can we get? We've got a Tommy Jonas. That's huge. For Davies Uniac. We've got a Free Flips. It's Eric Hippo, I believe. Yes, it is Eric Hippo. I haven't got a Free Flips. Oh wait, no, there are lots of different players on here. Okay, so I guess we can we can pick one of these players. So let's see the selections. We've got an Eric Hipwood. We've got a Charlie Cameron. We've got a Joe Danaher. So quite a few good forward options. We've got an Oscar McInerney. We've got Draper and Grundy, so our rock options are pretty good. I wouldn't mind another key forward, even though we have got Kerno and someone else. Um, who's the other option? McInerney. It's Charlie Cameron there. I'm going to take Charlie Cameron as a small forward because I don't think we have one of those yet. We've got Silk Miller coming out of the middle of our midfield stack. Christian Salem, our defense is stacked as well. Lysette, our third Ruckman, and Mitchie Duncan. Let me chuck the team on April Evolution 2. All right, here we go. I've got the team in April Evolution 2. I'm going to play a random AFL team. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to stop in 3, 2, 1. We are playing Richmond. Let's get into it. Here we go. Let's bounce down at Optus. We are taking on Richmond. Let's go. It's the team coach pack and players versus the Tigers. As always, on legendary difficulty. Here's Took Miller. Straight out in the middle. Took Miller to full forward. Got Charlie Kern got full forward today. Nathan Broad cleans him up. Richmond go wide. There's a fist there. Oh, it gets to the 50. Rough conduct by Vlosta off ball. It'll be Took Miller to run in. Charlie Cameron will also run in. Cameron finds the handball. Oh, what am I doing? I should have just gone in for it. And Florent gives away a push in the back this time. The Tigers have it. And that is a wasted opportunity by myself. Oh, taken by Grundy. It's a really solid mark. Grundy will go long. Leagings, Charlie Kerno can't get there. Wingard's pace will get there, though. Here's Fogarty. Fogarty finds the handball to Kerno. Oh, what's Kerno? Why have I gone the clearance kick? Charlie Kerno, you mug. Richmond defenders having a field day here. Not that they're kicking definitely isn't. Here's Cameron. Gives the handball off. And it's good ball movement to find Jacob Hopper in the goal square to kick out first. Come on. We're dominating Richmond going inside 50 so far. They can't get in their 50. We've just got to lock that out though. Dusty's really good on the clearance. They've got good positioning. Punched out. Oh, they've got crum crummers. One-on-one -on -one contest. Stewart can't get there. Oh, Stewart can get there. Crumbs out. Chol, who's for some reason out the Tigers here. Grundy. Here's Petrarca. Christian Petrarca. Log into the 50. Kerno the bump. It's been giving a block. Oh, no. Oh, look at the fight from Grundy. Oh, almost a tackle. Good tackle, Grundy. Handball. Good ball movement. And they'll go the short chip to Chad Wingard. There we go. Wingard will go back and he'll drill it. We go 13-0 up in the first turn. Come on. Oh, good ball movement. Can we find one more? No, we can't. But we lead by 13 at quarter time. Oh, look at that by the Tigers. We steal it off him. The ball movement is superb. Here's Grundy. Here's Took Miller. Miller puts it into the 50 with a short chip into open space. Fogarty the bump off ball. Oh, great work here by the Packer players. Pushed in the back by Hooley. And it'll be Jacob Hopper to now go back for his second goal. Hopper goes back. It looks like he's drilled that Jacob Hopper. The wind will bring it back. Jacob Hopper's kicked it. And we lead 19 to nothing here at Optus. What a start. Stewart. Oh, it's in the back from Rewalt. We take it. No, we won't take the advantage. Goes back to Tui, who's got the pace to outrun the Tigers. He'll go down the middle. And Hooley's almost done well. Fogarty, the soccer forward, who's been very good off second half forward. Good smother. Williams, Fife. He'll find hands. Good tackling. Really good tackling. Great tackling. Hopper. Here's Charlie Cameron. Cameron, he'll snap around the body almost. Here's Brayshaw. Brayshaw, high tackle stack. It'll be a free kick for Chad Wingard. And Wingard, to out of nowhere, make it 26-0 in this video. I don't know how. Wingard will try to bend this around. The wind's bring it back. 
What a finish from Chad Wingard. That is an absolutely superb snap. The bend on that is ridiculous. Kerno up front. Kerno can't find the mark. We've got the crummers though. Wingard hands off. Here's Charlie Cameron. He'll have too much pace. Charlie Cameron into the goal square. We'll kick it. And we leave 32 0. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Jag and Short's gonna go for an absolute roost. Short tries to set up. It's a two on one and Fife gets the intercept mark. Now Fife long down the middle. Cameron's there. Oh, Charlie Cameron, how about that? Charlie Cameron, he sees the long option. I'm not sure who it is. It's Wingard the bump, Wingard the mark. How good is that? And Wingard, he'll go short to Kerno. That's horrendous. This ball movement from Richmond's now looking very, very scary. They're moving on the inside. It's really good ball movement. It's premiership ball movement from here from Richmond. They've given it to Edwards. The ball movement's just come out of nowhere, this kicking. And how about that from the side side intercept mark from Tui? Here's Tui. He'll go long. Kerno almost. Taken by Vloston. Good tackle. Here's Took Miller out in the middle. Look at that from Took Miller forward. Handball. Here's Petrarca. Christian Petrarca from 50. Tackled. And that's a throw from Fogarty. We have stuffed that up to the extreme. We had so much space. Kerno trying to intercept. Broad the mark. I see Kerno leading. Kerno leads. Kerno. Oh, Broad's done really well in Richmond's defense today. Oh, the rock work from Grundy. Superb. Look at that from Grundy. Cameron, he'll find the wide open Charlie Kerno in the 50. And Charlie Kerno, I doubt, will make any mistake of burying this. I, oh, I think I have made a mistake here. Ah, the, oh, that's really poor. That's a poor snap from myself. Is there a mark? Oh, Kerno, the intercept. How good's Charlie Kerno been? He sees Wingard wide open. The awareness from Charlie Kerno is extremely good. And Chad Wingard will bury his third goal, I believe. I think it's 40 to 6. I think that wraps the game up here at Optus. What's up in there? Oh, Fife, no. No clearance. Richmond into the 50. Bumped out by Tom Stewart. How good is that? Oh, how Stewart dropped it. Now Evo's just rigged this. Evo had just completely rigged that. So basically, with 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter, in every game where the opposition is down, they give the other team an advantage. And they've just removed my player out of the ruck contest. They've made a player drop an easy open mark, and it's fumbled straight to a Tigers player for an low mark goal. And now look at this. Look, the algorithm's going to make sure I do not get the ball forward here. Look at this. Look, Richmond going to get it at all costs. Like, I should get the ball here realistically. With soccer, it'll be deliberate. No. Okay. Richmond will get this from the ruck contest. I can absolutely guarantee it. Shepard off the ball. I did nothing. The game gets, the game rigs it. Shepard off the ball, my ass. And there'll be a mark inside 50 no matter how well I try to defend it. And look, the CPU just decides to not mark Dion Prescott. Well, I'm not complaining or anything, but I'm very, very pissed about how Evo operates. I guess I like how the opposition always gets a chance, but now this is just going to be a goal because this is how the bloody algorithm works. Come on. Like, th that rock contest is just the Evo algorithm working at its best. Like, now they'll find the mark here. Stewart. Oh, he's dropped it. And of course, he'll crumb to a Richmond player. He'll crumb to a Richmond player no matter what. And I'm telling you, this is how the Evo algorithm works. Like, why is Fife? He kept going removed from the rock contest. There we go. I don't know why Fife's in the rock anyway. Why is Grundy just roving? Why is Grundy roving and Fife's in the rock? And that's it. We get the win in a scrappy display of Optus.